Uh, speaking, by the way, of EVs, and this is the question I thought you were going to ask me. I thought you were going to say, "Is there t- are there too many brands? Is are we hitting a threshold?" I thought that's what you were going to ask me. Well, that's the thing. There's like so many like brands. Why don't they develop some sort of league? Yeah, and just to race? show off. Yeah. Well, but then you're going to get the race car makers that just say, "Yeah, you can buy this car, but it's not really mass market." I don't know how you set up these that's rules. True, yeah. But anyway, uh, Tesla's been, they're down a little bit in Germany. Germany produces, well, a tremendous number of the world's cars, not necessarily in Germany, but German companies, Mm -hmm. huge companies there, VW, uh, BMW, of course, under VW, a number of other sub brands. They've all been racing to get into EVs, right? As you would, Mm -hmm. that part of the market is growing. And uh, gas cars, not so much. VW had the whole scandal with the diesel thing where the EPA numbers and they had huge scandal. Gave people money back on some of those TDI diesels. The diesel in Europe was a big deal, Will. People loved it for the efficiency, for the long range. A lot of people were driving what was called clean diesel. It turned out it wasn't that clean. Mm. And there was a lot, there was some trickery going on with that. But that group has appears to appears to to some degree be interested in electric vehicles as the next phase, as the next stage. And so they were buying up Teslas. Mm. And it's no coincidence that Elon puts the Gigafactory in Berlin because he says, okay, there's gonna be a big market here in Europe. Where should I be? Well, all these other automakers are in Germany, huge opportunity, Germany. We put it in Berlin. I'm sure there were all kinds of incentives and all the rest of it. But the thing is, in the meantime, those giants, the sleeping giants, they woke up. Mm. Talking about VW, talking about others. And in uh, in waking up, they are able to take these sort of massive footprints that they have, dealerships and assembly plants, and rejig them and just hit them hit the ground running. Mm-hmm. They have the infrastructure. These are juggernauts. And they're awake now, and they've seen what's ca- what Tesla has sort of uh, been able to do, and now they're aiming to do the same. And so that makes Tesla's job harder. And I, I presume when these guys come out and say Tesla's overvalued, I presume this is the kind of stuff they're looking at, saying, wait a sec, yeah, Tesla's doing great, but what happens when all the other automakers are doing EVs? What happens when you have BMW, Daimler, Volkswagen, Renault, Honda, Toyota. What happens when you have everybody else making EVs? Do people still choose Tesla out of the bunch? Hmm. And so Germany is this kind of little test ground. And it turns out people started choosing other EVs in the last year. So, And there might be other factors to this. Maybe Tesla couldn't get the supply they wanted in Germany. So people had to wait too long. And maybe that's why they put the plant in Berlin. There's other factors, Will. Hmm. These things are never simple. But just looking at the chart here, Tesla's seven uh, sales over the last seven months, 5,306 in 2020, same period 2019 was 6,816. So that's a small drop off. But what's what's important is the amount, the share of the EV market that Tesla occupied with the number which was 18.4%, now all the way down to 8.7. From almost 20% to less than 10 in a one-year period, gobbled up by the likes of Volkswagen, Renault, and Hyundai, who we talked about. They have a whole new product line coming out we talked about yesterday. Mm. So regardless of what the factors were that were involved in this, it's obvious that customers are okay with looking elsewhere for EVs. Mm-hmm. They say, hey, VW, you uh, you knew how to make cars. We figured you'll probably know how to do the EVs too. Mm-hmm. And as the technologies become more ubiquitous, people are becoming comfortable with buying electric vehicles in general. Tesla has done a real sort of service almost to the industry to reinvigorate it. Mm-hmm. Because the industry, just with the gas automobiles, wasn't, you know, all that exciting. Now, all the giants have something to work on that people are excited about. And 
obviously are purchasing. And the same thing has the potential to happen here. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't even take into account all the other exclusive EV makers that are set to hit the market 2022, 2023 that we talk about on this show all the time. Yeah. So it's really interesting stuff. And uh, we're going to keep an eye on it. We're going to follow it. Like I said, I think, I think Tesla with the Gigafactory in Berlin may show better figures in the future. I don't think it's impossible. There's probably some things they can do to improve their status there and remain competitive. But definitely this article showcases an appetite for EVs that aren't Tesla branded. Mm-hmm.